But he got a boss too, and his boss name is Clive Davis. Clive run him. Diddy don't run himself. So you think Clive is looking for me? Oh, I know he's looking for me. I know he's worried about me, and he should be. Why? He should be very worried about me. As the scandal surrounding Sean Diddy Combs continues to unfold, one can't help but be perplexed by the seemingly unwavering support he receives from music industry heavyweight Clive Davis. Despite facing assault claims from multiple women, Diddy remains a perennial guest at Davis' prestigious pre-Grammy parties, leaving many in the music world stunned and outraged. Diddy, who was nominated for Best Progressive R&B Album at this year's Grammys for his latest project, The Love Album, Off the Grid, has chosen not to attend the awards show. However, the Recording Academy, sticking to its standard policy, did not disinvite him from the event, inviting all nominees regardless of their circumstances. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, bringing some serious claims against the music mogul. What's truly confounding is the special treatment Diddy seems to receive from Clive Davis. Last year's pre-Grammy party invitation featured no less than three photos of the Bad Boy Records founder. But this year, he was relegated to a mere glimpse in one picture behind Jay-Z and Beyonce from 2020 celebration. Some speculated that this might be an attempt to distance the event from the embattled star. However, a representative for Davis dismissed these rumors, stating Puffy wasn't scrubbed. Each year, the photos included in the pre-Grammy gala invitation are updated. Different artists, guests, and performers are changed from year to year. While Diddy may have settled the lawsuit filed against him by singer Kessie, he still faces accusations from at least three other women, including allegations of violent abuse. Diddy vehemently denies these claims, declaring on Instagram, Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Despite the seriousness of the allegations, he continues to enjoy the support of some industry insiders. Um, Diddy's public reputation is done. It's done. Yeah. The settlement with Kessie reached just one day after she filed her lawsuit, leaves many questions unanswered. The terms of the agreement remain undisclosed, and both parties have chosen not to make further statements. Kessie, in her statement, expressed her desire to resolve the matter amicably and thanked her family, fans, and lawyers for their support. Diddy also issued a brief statement, wishing Kessie and her family well. But even though Kessie is silent, insiders are not silent. They believe that Diddy helped resolve such a complex legal issue so quickly from the sidelines, and the one who helped is none other than his old friend and mentor, Clive Davis. The intricate web of allegations and rumors surrounding Sean Diddy Combs and his connection to music industry mogul Clive Davis continues to unravel, painting a picture of a world where power, influence, and secrecy collide. As the controversy deepens, one can't help but wonder if there's more to their association than meets the eye. But I, I, I didn't see what, what a lot of people say they saw, but then I seen a lot of things that people ain't mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Clive Davis, the man who helped Diddy rise to prominence in the music industry, recently shared a revealing story about their partnership. In a podcast interview, Davis recalled how he was initially hesitant about the hip hop genre. Given his roster of legendary artists like Aretha Franklin, DNA Warwick, and Whitney Houston. Davis has always assumed a far more active role than most record company presidents. That's why he was a pioneer in the 60s. It's also why he has survived into the 80s. However, it was Diddy's unwavering conviction that convinced him to embrace the burgeoning hip hop revolution. Davis, who had previously worked with Diddy during his Uptown Records days, recognized Diddy Street, savvy insight, and the potential of hip hop in the mainstream. Puffy was 23 years old, and I knew the artists that I had. Aretha DNA Whitney was one kind of music, Davis remarked. But sensing the hip hop revolution, both LA Reid and I agreed that we could use someone really attuned to the street. You gotta know what you can do for yourself, and you gotta know when you need to look to other people. This pivotal meeting set the stage for Diddy to launch his own bad boy entertainment imprint under Davis's guidance. Diddy's keen vision for the future of music became evident as he played tracks like Craig Max Flava in your ear and introduced Davis to the then unknown artist Notorious B.I.G. With Davis's support, Diddy embarked on a journey that would lead to the creation of Bad Boy Records, featuring talents like Mace, 112, and the Notorious B.I.G. However, the collaboration between Clive Davis and Diddy goes beyond professional success. There have been rumors, speculations, and allegations surrounding their relationship. Some have gone as far as to suggest that Clive Davis played a significant role in Diddy's rapid ascent to the top, alleging that Diddy engaged in acts to maintain Davis's support. Because I know things about him that he, he don't want nobody to know. Jaguar Wright, a prominent figure in the music industry, has added fuel to this fire. She has come forward with shocking claims that Diddy and Clive Davis share more than just a mentor-protege relationship. In a recent revelation, she suggested that Diddy learned the darker aspects of the music industry from Davis, insinuating that both men are plagued by accusations of essay and abuse. 
She asserts that Clive Davis might have played a pivotal role in Diddy's ability to navigate and evade and evade the legal consequences of his alleged actions. Wright suggests that powerful figures in the music industry often use their influence to exploit and harm young artists, painting a disturbing picture of an industry shrouded in secrecy. It would be easy for people to say that I'm crazy. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not bipolar, so they can't play me like they try to play Kanye. Wright's revelations also bring up questions about Clive Davis's sexuality, which he openly discussed in his autobiography. Davis declared himself both gay and straight after his second marriage ended in 1985. As far as myself is concerned, I was totally straight uh, until through my second marriage. I've got four kids and grandkids. Um, he acknowledged engaging in romantic relationships with both men and women. While Davis's sexuality is not the focus of the allegations, it adds to the intrigue surrounding this complex web of rumors and secrets. I could be attracted uh, to a man while I still am very attracted to a woman. The allegations surrounding Sean Diddy Combs and his mentor Clive Davis have taken a dark and disturbing turn as new revelations come to light. The controversy deepens with shocking claims that it was Clive Davis who introduced Diddy to a world of private, debauched parties, allegedly involving coercive acts that have left many in disbelief. According to Wright, these secretive gatherings, known as freak-offs, were orchestrated by Diddy and involved him forcing his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, to engage in intimate activities with male sex workers. The details are harrowing, as Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy has recently shed light on these disturbing events. The lawsuit, filed by Kessie, detailed her allegations of a decade-long cycle of abuse and violence during her relationship with Diddy. While the lawsuit was settled one day after it was filed, some shocking details from the initial filing have emerged. Kessie claimed that Diddy instructed her to use websites to search for males with specific physical attributes. She further alleged that Diddy would have the male sex workers come to his residence or even fly them to various locations, both in the United States and abroad, for these encounters. According to Kessie's filing, Diddy's assistants played a crucial role in setting up these gatherings, preparing hotel suites with items such as baby oil and Astroglide. Substances allegedly played a significant part in these events, with Kessie stating that Diddy supplied her and the male sex workers with substances leading to a state of disassociation during the encounters. The filing painted a disturbing picture of Diddy's involvement, alleging that he filmed Kessie during these encounters, directing her actions, and instructing her on how to interact with the male sex workers. Specific details were allegedly important to Diddy, such as Kessie wearing lingerie white nail polish and pouring excessive amounts of oil over herself during these freak offs. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like, I felt like I was in the presence of his mom. As this scandal continues to unravel, it raises serious questions about the music industry's darker side and the influence of powerful figures like Clive Davis and Diddy. The allegations surrounding these secretive parties, the use of substances, and the apparent exploitation of young artists paint a deeply troubling picture of an industry shrouded in secrecy and controversy. But the shocking allegations and speculations surrounding Clive Davis have taken a sinister turn, delving into the realm of conspiracy theories and the darkest of accusations. Jaguar Wright, a vocal critic of Davis, has ignited a firestorm by suggesting that Clive Davis may have been involved in the untimely demises of both Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, at 3.55 p.m. this afternoon, Whitney Houston was pronounced dead at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Whitney Houston's tragic passing in 2012 was a devastating loss for the music industry and her legion of fans. The accidental drowning in a bathtub on the eve of Clive Davis' annual pre-Grammy gala was a heart-wrenching shock. While it was widely believed to be a tragic accident, Jaguar Wright has suggested that Clive Davis, one of the richest and most influential figures in the music industry, may have had ulterior motives. With a net worth nearly reaching $1 billion, some speculate that Davis had a lot to gain from Whitney Houston's demise. But I think the purpose of her death was to gain full access to Whitney Houston's estate. Leah LeBrown, Bobby Brown's aunt, even went on record suggesting that Whitney and Bobby were assassinated. She implied that people with designs on Whitney's estate may have seen Bobby Christina as an obstacle to their plans. I believe that somebody killed my niece just like they killed her mother. The eerie parallels between the demises of Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, have long fueled suspicions. Bobby Christina's life tragically mirrored her mother's as she was found submerged in a bathtub full of water and never regained consciousness. Both autopsies revealed the presence of substances in their systems, making their demises all the more perplexing. Jaguar Wright's claims have added another layer of intrigue to this already mystifying story. She suggests that Nick Gordon, Bobby Christina's ex-partner, who also discovered her lifeless body, played a role in both demises. 
According to Wright, Nick Gordon was working in cahoots with Clive Davis and Ray J to eliminate both Whitney and Bobby Christina. Ray J, who was romantically involved with Whitney during her final days, has faced questions about his involvement as well. And then the next thing you know, um, she's dead. Ray J was the last person to see her alive. He let the drug dealer in. Jaguar Wright alleges that Ray J allowed a substance dealer into Whitney's room, contributing to her demise. She questions why Ray J didn't stay with Whitney or ride with the coroner after her demise, raising suspicions about his motives. Wright goes on to claim that Clive Davis wanted access to Whitney's estate and was willing to go to extreme lengths to obtain it, even if it meant wiping out the entire family. It's strictly for the purposes of financial gain for those who have access to her estate, including Clive Davis. Most including Clive Davis. Clive Davis. In a world where scandal and secrecy appear to reign supreme, one thing is clear. The story of Sean Diddy Combs and his mentor, Clive Davis, is far more complex and enigmatic than we could have ever imagined. The dark specter of suspicion and accusation looms large, casting a long shadow over the music industry's glittering facade. As we delve deeper into this bewildering and unsettling saga, we invite you, our dedicated viewers, to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. What do you make of the allegations surrounding Sean Diddy Combs and Clive Davis? Do you believe there's more to their association than meets the eye? We want to hear your insights and theories on this perplexing story. Stay tuned for more updates. And until then, goodbye and keep the conversation going.